what Barry wanted to do was direct. You know, he was a director. That was, uh, and that's the most important and, in a sense, the most enjoyable job in television. And I thought, well, it's really time for me to move on, too. If I don't uh, get another producing job, and I didn't particularly want to, I'll go back to directing, which was my first love. Now, I didn't have a particular desire to leave Doctor Who at that time, but with John going and Barry going, you know, I felt if I stayed on, I'd be a kind of embarrassing spare part. For much of John Pertwee's tenure, viewers had been treated to a nourishing diet of Earth-based adventures, with the Doctor, his companions, and the ever-reliable unit troops defending the home counties against a string of alien invasions. As the show's ratings began to climb, Pertwee was joined by Katie Manning as Joe Grant, along with unit regulars Nicholas Courtney, John Levine and Richard Franklin, creating one of the happiest companies on television. Even the villainous master, played by Roger Delgado, was part of the family. But by 1973, a wind of change was blowing. In late June, viewers saw Katie Manning leave the show after three happy years, and in that same week, a tragedy struck. I think the significant thing, really, um, was Roger Delgado's death, uh, because that obviously was a terrible shock to everybody. Once you lose one-sixth of a very tight team, it is bound to um, rock the boat. Roger had been killed, and I was very upset about that, and uh, I wouldn't want to really have worked with any other ma actor playing the master. Uh, Barry was leaving, as I say, and Terence Dix was leaving, and it seemed to be the end of an era. He took Barry and me aside on location one day and said, and just announced, you know, that he would like to leave fairly soon, but at the end of the season, perhaps. You know, there was pl plenty of notice. It wasn't a sort of snap decision. Two reasons he wanted to leave. One, he felt that if he didn't leave, he would never get another job in his life because he would be too, lab too much labelled as Doctor Who. I did realise that I'd stamped myself with this Doctor Who image and I was probably never going to get out of it. But mostly because he felt that um, an era was coming to an end. Uh, Katie uh, had left, and though he got on very well with Liz, she was an, a new member of the family, so to speak. We were using unit far less, so his good friend Nick Courtney wasn't around, and he felt that the family was breaking up. But I thought I'd stay on for another season, and I said to my old friend Sean Sutton, I will stay on another season, but if you pay me a little more money. And he said, I'm terribly sorry to see you go. <laughs> and I said, surely you're going to discuss this with the rest of your directors, aren't you? And he said, no, no, we have a budget and that's it. And uh, anything more than that we can't do. So, bye. And I left. Oh.